Hey guys, we are looking for the slant height of a cone today. Okay, now when we say cone, we are literally talking about the shape like an ice cream cone, right? Or a traffic cone. This is our attempt to make it look 3D, right? This is <laughs> this is not 3D, but this is our attempt to make it look 3D, right? We are literally talking about a 3D object. So these blue lines aren't really a part of the shape itself, but they're showing us the lengths, right? They're showing us from, this is called the apex, this top point up here, from the apex to the bottom of the cone, right? And then across the bottom of the cone. And do you see, and if you think about a cone, if you think about measuring from the top to the bottom and then across and up, do you see how that makes a right triangle? What? Okay, so we can use the fact that that's a right triangle to help us figure out this slant height right here. Okay, so what are we gonna do whenever we have a right triangle? We typically use the Pythagorean theorem, right? If you need a review on this, I'll link one in the corner for you, okay? So I've got A squared, which is one of my legs, plus B squared, which is the other leg, equals C squared, which is what we call the hypotenuse, which is the side across from the right angle, okay? So I have, let's draw this over here, my triangle, okay? I know this tall leg is 15 inches, and this bottom one is not 22, right? The entire length is 22. So just this section is half of it, which is going to be 11, right? 22 divided by 2 is 11. And then this is what I don't know. We're going to call it C, okay? Now, either one can be A and B of the legs. It doesn't matter. We'll just label this one A and this one B, okay? So let's go ahead and plug that in. We're going to have A squared, which is going to be 15 squared plus b squared, 11 squared, equals c squared. That's what I don't know, my slant height, right? Okay, when I go ahead and multiply this out, 15 squared, that's 15 times 15, which gives me 225, plus 11 squared is 121, and we're still equal to c squared. Okay, as I continue to work down, 225 plus 121, is 346 and that is equal to c squared okay now what i don't want my c to be squared right so to get rid of that i am going to take the square root if i do it to this side i got to do it to the other side right those cancel so over here i'm just left with c and on this side i'm left with the not so pretty number of the square root of 346 okay now in some instances, this might be where we leave the answer, okay? Because I checked and this does not simplify down in radical form. If you wanna know how to do that, I will link a video for you in the corner, okay? But this does not simplify any further. Also, because we are doing a length, I feel pretty good about putting this in decimal form, okay? So when you plug in the square root of 346 into your calculator, you get 18, point six zero one zero seven and it keeps going okay so i'm gonna go ahead and round that to eighteen point six okay and what were we in inches okay all right we started out with a cone we didn't know the slant height we used the fact that there is a right triangle hidden in there Use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the slant height. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Thanks, bye.